Flagellant's gonna be rocking the Reclaim. I mean, I have to unlock Exsanguinate, right? There's no reason not to do that, so... Back we go. Did you see Barasa admit that the enemies were dabbing on Twitter? God damn you, Chris. The actual fucking madman. I can't believe that. That makes me genuinely angry. God damn it, they're really dabbing. The dabbing is dungeon, dab is dungeon. You really, you wanted the memes to be real, huh? I thought this was a serious game, Chris. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, anyway, we're not gonna use that. Let's go with Exsanguinate. Uh, Endure is probably good. Edomanda. 12 months in a row, one year on the pile, boys. Thank you so much. He said he didn't realize it while drawing, but then he was like, yeah, wow, that is that. Okay, so it was accidental. All right, I don't, I'll forgive him for that. As long as he was not from beginning to end of the process planning, it's going to be so hilarious when these guys dab when you hit them. I, I would lose respect for that man. Not really. I'm joking. Uh, let's go, I guess. I think we're ready to do this. I keep prolonging the inevitable here. Oh, wait, no, that's right. We're going to go, uh, no, I already did it. Do, do we have upgrades? I'm pretty sure we unlocked some upgrade cap capacity in the blacksmith. And we've already done so for these guys. Uh, I think we're good to go then. Sorry, I'm just trying to remember between playthroughs here. Oh, yeah, no, this is totally worth it, actually. Okay, I'm glad I checked this. We're gonna get massive upgrades here for all the stun chance and actually more damage over time for most of these moves as well. Yeah, this is huge. Level three. Level three shit. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. There goes all my money. Hooray! Vestal's right, ready to go. The Flagellant doesn't need any more love. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. I'm finally ready. I'm finally ready. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, I'm going to correct some stuff here. Let's get all the food. Couple of shovels, right? I'm trying to remember, racking my brain about what actually gets used in this place. We don't need torches except for curio interaction, right? And then do we need to bring blood? I don't think so. I, like, we're looking to get blood from here, right? Laudanum, I'm pretty sure, is used. These are a, uh, this is specific to the first courtyard event. You need to use these to interact with the curios in here. I guess if I have anti-venom already, I might as well bring those. Let's get a few bandages. And herbs, I guess. I'm bringing, like, everything. This is kind of over-preparing. We don't need that many holy waters. We need to be a little bit more conservative financially. We'll do that. That's probably okay. Blood can give trinkets at the key. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, those have a curio interaction. I forgot. So let's just go ahead and bring a full stack. No reason not to. All right. I think this is okay. Let's go. The courtyard Jeez. and gardens surrounding the manor were once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position, we mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues. Our salacious trysts half hidden in the hedgerows. Our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. Come, meow, leader! Goodness! Apologies, the timing a little off there, but Carmi Alita, thank you. I hope I'm pronouncing your name even close to correctly for the 10,000 bits. Holy hell. Soaked and sinking, these stone terraces and sprawling gardens were the site of long forgotten revelry and well remembered regret. It is indeed correct. Good, good. Okay, I feel good now. Thank you very much. That is insanely generous. Big ups to ya. Okay, I gotta remember this shit. Um... Blood? No, that was wrong. That's... nope. No, you know, that's not the one you do. <laughs> Alright? 
Learning lessons again. As is customary. Luckily, that's going to tell me what it does from now on, though, right? I think it does the same thing for the blood as it does for the other uh, interactable items. So that saves me a little bit of trouble in the future, hopefully. It sucked! It's my birthday, and I got an awesome stream, so I figured I'd share the happiness. Happy birthday, Carmio Leader. Thank you. Y'all sharing your birthday love with me, that makes me feel fantastic. I'm glad to provide you some entertainment. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, I actually need to change out one of his skills here, don't I? Or did I even unlock the proper stuff? These guys can bleed. I, re I remember why he's so good in here now. I was trying to remember the kind of resistances I was dealing with against these enemies, but... Yeah, they are very susceptible to this. The Blight, too, even. I mean, like, they've got some resistance to it, and certainly he's not going to be as easy to hit with it, but... I think it's doable in a lot of circumstances, and these guys are both dead, so that's wonderful. Let's go ahead and try... Well, okay, no, that's probably not going to work out. Ah... Uh, I guess the stun is probably better, even though he's got a little bit of resistance now. Plus the shuffle. Okay, yeah, the shuffle forward worked out then, because we can hit him with this. He's still going to resist it, but... Might still die. Bear optimal! Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Okay, you're dead. Yeah, that was easy. This won't be too bad. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Lessons learned. They're gonna take it easy on me with these early uh, fights, too. I think they might be scripted, actually. The first few interactions in the courtyard. Of course, the one that we just saw where we willfully subjected ourselves to an extra fight, I don't think is part of that. But I'm pretty sure the first fights in this place are, uh, you know, Premeditated. Slowly. Gently. Willfully in quotes. Yeah, no, I <laughs> I knew what was going on there, totally. It's all for entertainment. A thronging hive. It's too much stress. I didn't even realize I don't really have a means of dealing with that, do I? Like indoor, obviously, is well. No, yeah, no, that's not the one to do. Does he have stress relief of some kind? He doesn't. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used him. Let's give this a try. I think we've got decent odds for that. Yeah, okay there. The entire courtyard is scripted, not just the enemy map. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That sounds right. Do 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 do. Part of the new update, Stars Virus, the uh, Color of Madness DLC, along with the massive changes. The latest balancing update allows the... I don't know why I did that, by the way. Allows the Abomination to team with religious characters, finally. Long time coming, I think, for a lot of people. The balance updates they made with this patch slash DLC are massive. Like, it feels like a different game. Which is wonderful for me. I'm really happy I waited until now, until uh, the DLC came around, to pick it up again. Because I'm really enjoying it. Leave them at one, baby. That's how we do it. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. They have so much blood to bleed, I know. It's beautiful. All right, let's just do this, I guess. Surges as the enemy crumbles. I want to get him down because he actually gets a massive damage buff when he's below 40%. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. Eh, let's just go ahead and dump something. Hmm. Well, we do need all these pickups right now, so let's... Man, what do we want to get rid of already? Damn it. How about... The keys. I don't think the keys are going to be useful. I want the heirlooms as well, so. Welcome. Let's get rid of the these, vampire. and we'll dump off the laudanum. I think those will be the least likely to be used here. 
Just fish! Gifted a subscription courtesy of Library Lab. Thank you very much for sharing the love yet again. Gifting four subs on the channel. Thank you. Why did I do that? I am not thinking straight so far. <laughs> I literally just finished explaining. Let's let him bleed out so that we have that damage bonus. Fucking whoopsie. Okay, this one is a shovel, right? Yeah. Nice. More stuff I can't afford to pick up. Uh, let's get rid of that, I guess. Really wasted money on provisions here, but I guess... Again, lessons learned in this initial offering. If you don't like flies, maybe this dungeon isn't for you. Probably true, yeah. I remember this, right? Yeah! Ooh, nice! Okay, I actually remembered that one. Cool. Sweet. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, the courtyard is so unsettling, I forgot. Ah, there's the flies we were looking at. Slash sycophants, massive mosquito creatures that... Remind me of Jumanji, actually, when I think about it. That was probably the scariest part of Jumanji for me, was when those giant-ass mosquito things were trying to poke through the roof of the car. You remember that shit? That horrified me as a kid. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I think that'd be like one of my least favorite ways to die. Death by giant mosquito stabbing. Like, I'm a little uncomfortable with needles, but a giant needle attached to a flying insect that buzzes around. Miss me with that shit. He said it. Wayne said the thing. He said the thing. He did it. <laughs> Getting turned into a monkey would be pretty awful, too. I don't disagree with that. Yeah, certainly. And being, like, fully aware of the fact that you used to be a human being. Sounds like a Black Mirror episode. I think that actually is kind of a Black Mirror episode. Maggots! My! BRB gonna go watch Jumanji now. I heard the new one's actually fine. If not, like, even good. Which is... a little interesting to me. Makes me actually kind of curious to see it. Okay, we're not going to heal him this time, but we are going to heal other people. It wasn't bad, per se. It's actually very enjoyable. Ah. Well, okay, then. You see it three to five times. Well, shit. That's a good look. Okay, now we got that set up again. And totally don't need to do this, but fuck it. You enjoy you got some laughs? Okay. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. As victories mount, so too will resistance. See, I know this is like a, a really hot take, but... One thing about movies like that nowadays... I can't really take... Oh, finally we got that, yay. I can't really take The Rock seriously anymore. Like... Okay, here, perfect example. That new movie, Skyscraper. Right? Which I think actually might be out already. I thought that was a joke when I saw the trailer. I'm not kidding. Like, I, I thought that was a, a goof that somebody was pulling on me because I, that looks like the, the most quintessential The Rock movie. It looks like an SNL skit. You know? I'm Dwayne Johnson and my family's in danger at the top of this skyscraper for no discernible reason. And some reward for a task well performed. I gotta make sure I repel off the side of it. And then it'll blow up! <laughs> the Rock in Skyscraper. Reminds me of Die Hard in the plot. Die Hard didn't, like, take itself 100% seriously, though, right? Like, I've seen Die Hard now. I can talk about Die Hard. Yay. 
Because Die Hard was kind of fun. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Yay, buffs. Dwayne the Dwayne. <laughs> Dwayne the Dwayne the Rock Johnson the Rock. In Sky Rock Scraper, the Dwayne Johnson story. The fuck did I just walk into? Exactly. That's how I felt when I was watching the trailer for Skyscraper. Rate Die Hard on a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, man, I'm not going to make any friends with this. I'm going to give it a 6. I'm, I'm going to give it a 6. I didn't love it. I really didn't. It's good. I think it's maybe a little dated now. Rate it betterly. <laughs> Delete your channel, please. No, I see. I, I, I earned this. I think I'm going to get thumbs down on YouTube for it. Deservedly so. Your opinion is wrong, sir. The real question is, is it a Christmas movie? I feel like we've established clearly that it is. I don't even know if that's a debate anymore. Now we can debate whether or not I actually have good taste because I don't think it's as good as other people do. Is the mummy a 10? I think that's got to be the top tier, right? If we're talking about 10 out of 10 films. No, I'm, I, I, don't, I don't even remember enough about the money to make this joke. The money. That's what I called it. That's probably what they called it in-house, too. At least the second time they made the movie. Let's reprint the money. That'll work. Yay. Speaking of which. That worked. Nice. Get extra food, too. The real question is, is it a Tide ad? Are we still doing that? What if this was a Tide ad? What if that actor showed up, like, on screen? Would that blow your fucking mind? Oh, man. I wish I had, like, the resources to make that happen. Tide ads are dead. We, I think we were doing that for a little while. I think there was a, a point at which we were doing that. I can't even think of any 10 out of 10 movies. Go ahead and list a, your... When I say 10 out of 10 movie chat, what's the first thing that you think of? What's the first thing that comes to mind? Lego movie. Never mind. We're done. We answered the question. It's Lego movie. I don't need any more answers. <laughs> Die hard, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Saw a couple of people say Interstellar. That's interesting. Yeah, Scarface. Paul Blart Mall Cop 2. Okay, yeah, fair enough. I see your point. Actually, Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is a terrific movie. I'm 100% I'm with you on that. That's a great film. I hear even the sequels are pretty good. I should probably heal. Too busy talking about movies. Kung Pao Enter the Fist. Legitimately, though. Welcome to the Bear Pile. Neon Peels! Welcome to the Pile. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Enjoy badge and emotes, buddy. Thanks for using Twitch Prime, the free subscription service. Hey, if you're an Amazon Prime member, you have Twitch Prime, too. You can use a free subscription on any channel on Twitch. Why not use it here? It's a good time. I'm all in with John Wick. I do feel like I need to watch that. I've heard very good things about it, but I also hear something I might not enjoy happens in it. I'm actually 100% certain something I will not enjoy happens in it, so I gotta get past that point. That's the reason I haven't been able to watch House of Cards, and now I have a much better reason not to watch House of Cards, obviously, but before that, I couldn't get past the thing that Kevin Spacey's character did at the start. It was like, it immediately made me think, oh, that's the pace, or that's the tone we're gonna set for this show. Well, no thanks. low and driven into the mud 10 out of 10 the room oh we watched the disaster artist a couple nights ago it was it was a treat that is a very very good movie are we really not what's 40 percent of 22 quick math 
That would be nine. So we should have it, right? Why don't we have it? The buff should be activated, I think. I didn't watch Sin City, no. I think that's on Netflix now, isn't it? I think I might check that out. That might be my cup of tea. Okay. Uh, I think that's a t uh, better Twitch TV thing, Dr. Alberts, because I don't see the emote you're referring to. If you're asking me if I made a pedo bear emote available on my channel, no, I did not willfully do that. But I'm sure someone created it somewhere. A devastating blow. I don't know why I'm doing the things I'm doing here, but I got a crit out of it. That's nice. Um, uh, maybe time to exsanguinate now. I've kind of been hanging on to it for a second here. I also still need to change his skill set. All right, that's fine. He's still got an exsanguinate now. For whatever reason, we just don't get the buff anymore, I guess. Judgment calls! Fuck. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Threatening to purge people apparently is the best way to guarantee a flood of people do exactly what you threaten to purge them for. <laughs> Yep. Back to the pit. And I eh, no need to heal. I was expecting Croc here. I guess that's probably in the next one. This expedition at least promises success. Use the damn herb. Use use this. Use it. What's the matter with this guy? What's your deal, bud? We doing a golden kappa check? We gotta make sure we got a golden kappa check. I don't know what's going on with this flagellant. The herb doesn't work on the debuff anymore. Oh, balls. All right. All right, fine. Let's try this. I scouted from that? That's interesting. To the bear pile. Isaac just me 93. Welcome to the pile, my friend. Welcome on in, Isaac, with some bear hugs, please. In the midst of our golden kappa check, if you wouldn't mind tossing in some bear hugs there, too. Thank you very much, my friends. Blood for treasure. Hmm, these are uh, garbage. Okay. The, or the camper's helmet's worth more than a single bandage, I suppose. Welcome to the bear pile. Arctic Fox. Even further bear hugs. More and more bear hugs. A slew. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. Arctic Fox, welcome on into the pile. I appreciate it. Toss that shit and keep going. Uh, I haven't been going too long here, Kondo. Just started off in the courtyard trying to clear out this early mission here. Mr. Ozma, welcome. Oh shit, here we go. Natural and abhorrent. Croc boy. Uh, let's start with that. Hmm. Well, I mean, transforming's not gonna do me any good, so I guess this is the move. And then I'm not, I'm really not going to be able to do much to him right now. I suppose maybe try to shuffle him so he gets up front so the flagellant can hit him. Oh, we stunned him. Nice. All right, that's pretty good. And unfortunately can't do, I, like, what's going on? The math is wrong here. Oh, 40% right. Yeah, okay. So I thought it was 50. Never mind. Sweet. That's a great bleed too. Holy shit. That's awesome. Didn't land the debuff, unfortunately. It's not too bad. Okay, I have to deal with that, though. All right, let's... Uh, I'm going to go for a slam, I guess. To try to move forward. Hopefully, I can have the Plague Doctor move back first. 
Likely, uh, well, we don't have any bandages anymore, do we? Yeah, shit, so I guess that's not gonna happen. So let's go ahead and heal hers to make sure the bleed doesn't hurt her too much. Definitely move her back. Well, actually, a stab would be very helpful here. No debuff applied there. Crit chance is kind of negligible. I don't have to do that. May I ask why you're not using a flashbang bounty hunter for this fight? In my experience, he's the most reliable counter to this fight. I didn't really build specifically to this fight. I just sort of put together a composition that I think would get, get through this mission okay. I wasn't really considering the croc in particular. Certainly seems like a valid option, though. 50 against 110? Yeah. I guess... Well, I did say I wanted to slam. What's that look like? Forward one. Would bring the... Hmm... Man, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess I'm doing that. Yeah, that's fine. We got to move her back again. Well, let's just move him forward. Fuck it. Then we'll slam next turn. Oh, goodness. She is just bleeding out, huh? Fuck it. I think actually stacking this bleed is going to be like a pretty damn reliable means of success here. Let's go ahead and use that slam now. I'm not going to stun him here, and I'm more than likely going to stun myself, but I still think it's the best idea. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't stun him anymore? Was that a pitch black thing, or was that a prior patch thing? I could have sworn slam used to stun him, too. There's the bleed stack, very nice, and let's keep working on the Plague Doctor. Uh, pitch black? Okay, that sounds right. Sorry, I get him confused. Ooh, this is good. That's very good! Nice! Yeah, this bleed is working really well. All right, well, we're not gonna hit him here. I guess I might as well try, though, right? That's 60% chance, it's actually pretty decent. If I stun him, I wonder if that, that's probably not gonna get rid of the buff. I was hoping maybe with, with him not being submerged anymore from that, it might work out. Nice! All right, he's gonna get the Apex Predator, but luckily he chose the two that were already strong. It's pretty easy to manage, I guess. Here you go, buddy. He's done. Well, not quite. Incision will do it, though. Sweet. All right, easy enough. A little bit of stress relief, too, for these guys. Cool. Restoration. Sick. Easy money. Nice. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Hell yeah! All right. Much better than the disease charm slash stun charm. Let's do it. Makes the manacles so much better. That's awesome. And we'll clear out some space for this. I guess just feed somebody. There we go. That'll work. Disease charm better than all awesome someone chains. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There's the hunger activation right on cue after I eat four food. Ah, no shovels. Damn it. Tools of iron. You must rely on flesh. An indefatigable purpose. Yeep! Watch your step. I was! Not a lot I could have done about that. Hey, there you are, finally. Sweet. The maddening whine of multitudinous wings abates. Let us hope that is the end of things. Alright, that's the whole thing. Cool! We did it! In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. 
A roiling apiary, where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half-mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. We're gonna but eat her! As the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. Oh, she gonna eat us! Plot twist! Eat the rich! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, that's good. Hell yeah. Man, that death blow resists. We could really build around that. Martyr seal. Oh, wait, no. I guess you'd have to do the um, the Crimson Court trinket combo to get that bonus, so never mind. But yeah, that's cool. Baron's invitation, obviously. Very nice. Great. Cool. Okay. Ah, oh, the yips. Gotta get rid of that. Oh my god, this one sucks. Holy shit, I hate that. We gotta get rid of Ansi right away, too. Hey, Zoke. Welcome back. These swarming fiends carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. Ansi adds 20 stress for each week the character is idle. AKA, get rid of this the moment you see it. 2100. All right, worth it. Ooh. Hey, teens, have you ever considered eating the rich? <laughs> it's the hot new sport all the kids are playing. <laughs> All right, I don't think we need a lot more stress relief, actually, which feels pretty good. Maybe the, uh, flagellant, but... Well, yeah, I guess so. Go ahead and knock it out real quick. I think you can only go to the bar, though, right? No, no, well, you know what? All right, fuck you, then. You don't get anything. How do you feel about that? Just as I feared. Now loosed from their brackish prison, they will spread like locusts across our land. Hey, teens, you ever consider murdering a countess and then drinking her blood? As a form of sadistic sport for your fellow members of the bourgeoisie. <laughs> what fun! Okay, anyway. Get someone... All right, yeah, let's check the stagecoach real quick. As one is wont to do, yes. More flagellants, oh boy! That's what we need. It's not at all what we need. I don't think I want to pick up another one. That seems ridiculous. So, we'll wait. Yeah, sex is good and all, but have you tried eating the rich? <laughs> oh, man. I like this bit. I like this bit. Mostly because the rich will never hear me talk about them. They're too busy being rich. Bear, have you got the free Musketeer DLC for the game? Oh, no, I forgot. Yeah, I should grab that. I'll try to get that for next time. Somebody remind me. A billion times, please. Otherwise, I'll forget. Okay, so what do we want to do next? Obviously, we got the courtyard invitation, but we're going to hold off on that. The, inf the infestation will continue to grow within uh, the other areas. Welcome to the bear pile. Hundalulu! Welcome to the pile. Thank you for seven with Twitch Prime. Much appreciated, my friend. Enjoy your badge and emotes. Thank you for the support. Let's go ahead and build a quick squad for the war and see if we can't run into the thing from the stars. I like the shield breaker a lot. I'm gonna use her again. Let's go with her and then... Let's see, for a Warren's team... A lot of bleed would be great again. How about we, uh... Well, hold on. Maybe if we're going with a bleed team... I bet we could build a really strong bleed team if we went with something like the Grave Robber... The Plague Doctor, maybe? In the back, well, no, that wouldn't really, really work very well in the back. Maybe we need to uh, just toss a vessel in there for safekeeping. So we'll do something like this, and then this, 
And then the flagellant again, right? Yeah, that seems like it'll be good. No stress healing again, but I'm not too worried about that. Bleed team immediately picks a character with no bleed. What are you talking about? She's got flashing daggers. Oh, just kidding. She doesn't. I'm in pitch black dungeon mode again. God damn it. All right, swap. There we go. Fixed it. Hound's Harry, which also got buffed, by the way. I don't know if you guys realize that, but that moves a little bit stronger now, so it's totally viable. Just like I always thought. Or tried desperately to convince people of. Okay, no good. No good. Get that. Get that and that. Sweet. Still don't have enough heirlooms to upgrade this any further. Not that I really want to yet. And guild. Nothing. Well, hold on. Maybe Iron Swan? Let's unlock both of those. It's a little expensive, but I like having those options for her. Especially because I'm not going to use that. And I'll keep you up for now, I guess. And if we're doing If It Bleeds, that works, I suppose, too. I really hate Bleed Out as a move. Like, I don't know if I'll ever, ever use that. Anyway, Hound Master, he's got Hound Terry. I'll go ahead and upgrade that Bleed Chance. Vestal with the extra heals and the chance to stun. And fuck it, we'll do that, too. 5,600 gold. All right, so I should try to make some money here. Oh, oh joy, a Hellion run. Yeah, that'll go well. Got a good history here. That's for damn sure. Everything's going to go great. Ship shape terrific. Let's do it. Welcome Low and Eddie. To the pile. Welcome to the pile. Thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Appreciate your support. Bleed skill chance. Hell yeah. It's like it was made for it. Let's go. Hellion, killing it. Actually, you know what? I'm going to give the flagellant that one. Let's go ahead and do this. Bam. This isn't working, is it? I don't know why that's not working. It's a weird thing to not work. I should give him this, too, actually, to so tell you what. You go ahead and have those, two. Maybe the Houndmaster will take this bleed, sk uh, bleed sk skill stone. Oh, he's got cudgel weight. He's got cudgel weight. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, with that being the case... Hmm... I could do Highwayman. Highwayman in place of Hellion? And that way he can be in spot three and do open vein, right? Yeah. Ooh, that could work maybe. Do I have something for the Highwayman? I do. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Welcome Trade this out. To the bear pile. Sorry, Hellion. I do have your bleed skill chance pendant though. That is pretty nice. Edge friendly. And Milkman! Welcome to the Bear Pile! Thanks for the Welcome double sub, y'all! Welcome to the Bear Pile. Thank you, thank you for the support. A bit of a train going on with Twitch Prime. Thank you for the love. Welcome them on in with the bear hugs, please. Appreciate it. I think I'll swap Highwayman for Hellion here, as mentioned. And allow the Houndmaster to have his stun buff. Because that is really useful. So, go like this... No need for this uh, synergy with the target whistle, I don't think. There is a minimum one with the Highwayman having the pistol shot, but it's not really necessary, nor is it going to be remaining in the kit, I don't think. Come, you leader! So appearing rich means people will eat you, huh? Well, get ready, because you're in danger. You just showed up on number three on the leaderboard up there. You're putting yourself out in harm's way. Eat, come, you leader! Thank you for the 10,000 bits again. The second instance of such goodness. Thank you, thank you very much for that support. If you eat the rich, you get their wallet. That's the impression we're under, yeah. Not that they keep anything in there anymore. We, we're in the digital age. In case you forgot, Sono! Come at me, he says. Retaking his position on top of the leaderboard. It's Sono. Good God. 49,000 bits this week. You are an absolute madman. Proper, I suppose, for these streams. But goodness, thank you. God, I keep, like, I'm losing track entirely of what I'm attempting to do here. And I apologize for that. But y'all are blowing my mind with this. Thank you for the support. Holy shit. Okay, there's that. I want Duelist Advance? No, I don't. I'm not going to do that this time. So... Consume the well-off. <laughs> Consume the successful and affluent. 
for no other reason than they are that. All right, finally, we get to do this thing that I had planned for the entire time. Now the highwayman gets his drifter's buckle and maybe the camouflage cloak. I'm thinking about it, but also giving that to the Vestal seems like a bit better of an idea. He's already got a lot of dodge, too, so I can probably just operate on that. Mmm, stun resist. Let's give that to the Vestal, too. Do this. And then let's let the highwayman have less stress, I suppose. It's fine by me. Vegas dirt <laughs> with the 25 bits says, please eat me. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. All right. Finally. Finally, this is prepped. We're going to switch this off for that. I'll keep tracking shot, I guess. And this kit's fine otherwise. Open vein, pistol shot, wicked slice. That's good. Houndmaster is going to be rocking these four. And then finally, the uh, flagellant up front. We'll have redeem, maybe. Suffer, I guess, is a decent option. But I like these four in particular. Don't need to reclaim. Don't need endure. This will work. Okay. Let's do it. Off to the Warrens, perhaps to run into the uh, thing from the stars. We shall see. Pick up, well, probably not that many provisions, actually. Let's be a little bit more conservative, as I mentioned. And tell you what, let's go ahead and try to sell a couple of trinkets, too. I don't need two of each of these ones right now, so let's go ahead and dump those off. And hey, that's probably enough money already. We can sell that, too. Cool. That works. Okay, wait a minute. Do we have three of these? Jesus Christ, how did we get three agility talents? What the hell? All right, anyway, let's bring a few of these. Eh, probably just like two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. Don't need those, actually. And then a full stack of torches. This is good, right? A couple of anti-venom for the Warrens. A few blood just in case. Well, that's probably not necessary yet. All right. Extra food. Why not? Be fully prepped this time. Let's go. Let's go. Fousey, hello. How are you? The blue dust? I'm not 100% sure what the blue dust does yet. I haven't really seen a lot of interactions for it. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Let's do it. 100% of room battles, which means we're going this way. A little bit of extra stress in the fledge. Not too bad. This is no longer the color of charity well, save file now. Measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. This is the Color of Madness save file that I had begun on Monday prior to realizing that there was a proper save file they wanted me to use for the tournament. And now we're just continuing that save file that we had started from scratch uh, on Monday. Another one falls. Highway Man's got some good damage, huh? Shit. That's a bleed for sure. Let's just one shot everything. Be gone. Yay! When you say eat the rich, executed with impunity. Does that mean in wealth or taste? Although they are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I assume the wealthier you are, the better you taste. Like I think, with all the treatments those people do for their skin the and for their bodies. A blazing star is born. Probably at that, at that point, you'd be so superficial that you probably want to make sure that your flesh tastes good, too, right? That's classist! Yeah, I know. Very much so. The whole conversation is, really. Ooh, that's a good buff. Yes, sir. Now, now. Uh, maybe go for the crit? It's tempting. I could also tracking shot and increase my odds of that significantly. I don't necessarily want to just bleed this guy, although actually that would be a pretty quick way of working through him. So maybe we should start off with that and then deal with these guys second. So we're not having to deal with a bunch of bleeds ourselves. So we can just hit him three times with three bleeds. That might well be enough. Yeah, one more. In fact, Hound's Harry might be it. If I do two damage with this plus the one point of bleed, that is not enough. But if I get the three, that'll do it. God damn it. All right. That's fine, I guess. He'll be done next turn anyway. He does get one action off, unfortunately. I probably should have just stunned him, I guess, because that would have guaranteed that he died to the bleed. Yeah, that was definitely the better choice. However, I did at least apply a little bit of damage to these guys in the process. Hey, look, and now he gets his thing. 
That's nice, too. All right, kill you. Thankfully, actually got it. Uh, I'll go ahead and exsanguinate. I said, well, no, that's not really a good idea here. A singular strike. That helps. And finish you. Sick. Poor people taste like dirt, LOL. <laughs> Eat the mid class. Death, my Eat the lower to middle class. Eat everybody. Everyone eat everyone. <laughs> I've only cleared one courtyard mission, just the uh, just the first one. Hashtag eat the world. Welcome to the bear pile. At a bear. Thanks. I'm doing good, huh? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome on into the pile. All right, we do have a billion food. I guess that's okay. We want a bloodthirst ring. Just realized that. Should I swap that off? That's probably better than this. Fuck it. Eat my ass! Ah, you know, eventually I guess it had to get to that point, huh? Grad school was hard, but I'm back for the summer. Congratulations! Another abomination cleansed from our land. Welcome back home, friend. Don't eat bear, though. Yeah, leave bears alone. They don't deserve it. Do do. The rich would be gross because they are filthy rich. <laughs> I bet a judgment would get it. As the fiend falls, the faint hope blossoms. I think we can all agree the world would be to be a better place if we all ate Rob's ass. As much as he offers it, you'd think it's probably a pretty good option, right? Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. Bear is the color of madness purple. The color of madness is bear brown. I think we've clearly established that much. Holy water, holy water. Oh boy. I want the money instead. Uh, you know what? I'm getting greedy. I'm getting real greedy. Nice. Hey, cool. That's nice. For once, reading books is helpful. It's your uh, 40%. Good God. Uh, you might as well just get rid of it. There's literally no reason to go this way apart from just preventing the stress added by going backward. The light. The promise of safety. Which I guess is worth it. Do you need so much food? You just wait and you find out. Which waifu did you pick when you played Persona 5? Uh, which one did I pick? I also don't really remember their names. I picked short brown hair girl. Student body president girl. Much to the, much to the chagrin of um, wife Taffy of Elise who definitely wanted to go with blonde hair girl. Makoto, yeah, Makoto, yep. That's right. I should probably let the hound master take this one, right? Yeah, seems best. Sick. She wanted Anne. Oh, yeah. No, she was all about Anne. I don't even remember why I picked Makoto. I think it just played out that way. Like, the game just sort of put me in a position where it's like, Hey, do you want to be with Makoto? And I was like, all right, sure. Sounds fun. Yay! I'm in a relationship! Uh, can I get the kill here? Probably. Ah, oh, balls. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do a Hound's Harry, actually. This is a perfect opportunity for that. Dab a dog man! Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Seven months? That's like three whole weeks! That's like a whole day! Holy shit! Thanks, man! Welcome back! Will you play more new games for YouTube? Yeah, I will, Cool Josh. I apologize for that, too. I know it's been a while since I've done anything YouTube-specific. I actually recorded a few videos uh, prior to the Color of Madness release. I'll go ahead and spoil what it is. Uh, Super Mega Baseball 2 season. A custom one uh, featuring the NLSS crew that I made. And I know Malf and Ryan already did that, but I did it. 
also because I like that game and it's fun. So if you wanted to see more of that, that's going to happen on my channel at some point. I'm thinking I'll probably re uh, start releasing those in July. I wanted to make sure that I had at least like half the season done before I uh, started to put them out because I didn't want to like get through four of them and then make, make you guys wait for like two weeks before I had time to continue the, the season in the series. So, yeah. Anyway, that's going to be happening. And I'm, I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for new games that I can play exclusively for YouTube because I know that's a thing that people have been asking for and I kind of miss doing it. Like, I miss the YouTube interactions alongside the Twitch interactions. So yeah, I think it's going to happen at some point. Call of the Stalker! Welcome to the pile! Thank you for subscribing. Get him some bear hugs, please. Thank you, thank you for the support. Much appreciated. Does it have more bear puns than NLs? Guaranteed. I don't even have to watch NLs to know that that's a fact. Who would you choose as your darkest dungeon waifu? Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Hmm. There's a lot of good choices. Dazed. Reeling. About to break. Recency bias makes me think of the Vestal as a pretty good choice. A devastating blow. The caring figure that we all need in our lives, of course. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Then you consider somebody like the Hellion, though. Sometimes you just need a straight-up badass in your life, you know? Somebody who'll kick shit around and take care of business. But then maybe an antiquarian. Because you like money. Perhaps that's a, a facet of a relationship that you value. Is actual value. Oh, fuck! Composition of otherworldly death. A thing from the stars! Oh, hey, you found it. Yeah, no. Were you looking for this? I found it. I found your missing thing. I found your missing creature with uh, goat legs for arms and a skeleton as a foot. Were you looking for that? Don't worry, I got it. Okay, um, I can stun him. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. He's, he's a bit tougher than the other shit I've been dealing with. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's do this. Nice. This is a great creature design, by the way. I, I, I'm in love with this character. I think it's fantastic. Down, down. Yeah, this is a level one potion. Level one potion. Level one dungeon. Look at those ribs on its bicep. Don't you have ribs on your bicep? That's pretty normal. Bleed him out! Debuff resist, though. Is this monster's head coming out of a goat's ass? Certainly seems that way, doesn't it? Especially with that angle we just got. Yeah, he ain't fucking around. He cured his fucking bleed? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. That's not fair. Is he going to do that at the start of every turn? That's fucking nuts. Please don't do that. I'd really appreciate it if you didn't do actually do that. I can still probably stun him. I don't have very good odds, but it's a, there's a chance. There we go. That's worth it to take away one move. Yeah, this protection buff is insane. That's why I'm, like, dependent upon damage over time. And if he's going to cure that at the beginning of every turn, that's going to suck ass for us. Fuck me. He actually does. Okay. Goodness. I mean, I'm still hitting him pretty hard. I think now he's got the buff activated, though. Yep, there it is. Hmm. Well, I mean, it'll still work. We'll still get this big bit of damage. Be able to stack that first round. And that's going to eventually kill him, I'm sure. Not to mention the fact that he's really not dealing a lot of damage to us. It's just the stress, obviously, that we have to be concerned about. I should kill this, too. Chris 
decision. Angry Taco! Welcome back. Three months in a row. Thank you very much. Hey, Sin. What's up, man? Yeah, I noticed the crystal subtracts from his health every time. So it's like you just have to kind of wait it out, I suppose, right? I feel like I've got a pretty damn good team for this, at least. Oh, my God. Well, that became a problem really quickly, didn't it? Fuck. That's minus nine. Oh, minus five on this form. Okay. I think I'll be able to kill him this turn anyway. So it's not too bad. His gimmick is super stress damage and high protection. Yeah. So, like, making, making the fight go longer, obviously, is not in my favor either. Oh, this fucking stress. My God. It's too much. There he goes. Shit. Hooray! We did it! I actually killed him already in the other file, but that doesn't count toward the cloud save, so there we go. Cool! Ooh, and that's a nice find. That's a very convenient find. Thank you. We will take that. Yep. And 25 fucking shards. Hell yeah. We'll go ahead and just pop this. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Eat this food. Take that. Uh, I can dump the gold. That's not a big deal. Gekka! You did it! I did it! Woo! Thanks for the 1,500 bits! That's very kind, I appreciate it. Enjoy your football emotes, everybody. Oh, boy! That was stupid. Nice. Thank you. Okay. Well, bit of added challenge there. Sin, did you end up getting a higher score than your, uh, 330? I know you got second place still, right? Congratulations, by the way. The ground quakes. Gamma, good to have you. Thanks for watching stuff. Much appreciated. Let's try to prevent some disease here. Do, do, do. Is it time to use the second dog treat? Might as well use it early on, I guess. I think I'm going to try to stun this guy, too. I haven't really taken advantage of Catch a Weight all that much. No, I didn't beat it again. Ah, yeah, still, though. Congratulations. Well played, friend. Who got 900? That was Care Level 0. Who, I, like, I think he's going to start at some point today, but he's, gonna, he's continuing that run. He's not done. I'm pretty damn sure he's going to get over 1,000, which is absolutely insane. I could prevent the check here. I'd love it, but it's not really all that imperative, I guess. Uh, that would depend on a crit. He needs two more damage. I can probably get the kill here. Nope. Cool. Do, 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 do. Uh, Hounds Harry? Yeah. Finishes him off, and I should probably go ahead and heal real quick. Just to make sure. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. And yeah. Yay. IRL, would you rather fight a 10 foot tall antiquarian or a 10 one foot tall flatulence? <laughs> um. A one-foot-tall flagellant with this triple ball mace can still hurt like hell. That's a horrifying concept. So I'm, I think I might go with the ten-foot-tall antiquarian in that case. Is the weapon that cuts on its That's still pretty scary, strong. though. Cool, Josh! Thank you for the $20 tip, my friend. Very kind. I would love some more new games on YouTube. Surprises like those found in Don't Starve and Moonlight are amazing to get your reactions to. Hell yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I, no, I certainly am uh, keeping that in mind. Appreciate the support. Yeah, it was a really fun event. I, I agree. I had a lot of fun doing it and competing in that way. It was really awesome. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable. Rats in a maze. I still love the way he turns his back to the crew. And yeah, let's go ahead and do Lash's Solace real quick. Welcome. Jelly Bone! So close to my favorite treat. Jelly Bone, welcome to the pile. Thank you very much for your subscription. I appreciate it. Enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your love courtesy of the hugs from the pile. Thank you much, y'all. We'll go ahead and prevent the ambush, I guess. Clean guns isn't as helpful as it normally is. Let's do... 
Let's do... Um, does he have a disease? Nobody has disease, right? Yeah. What's the best one left? What is the best one left? Might actually be prey, even though nobody's religious. I'll just go ahead and do that. A little bit of a protection buff for the squad, and then knock out all his stress, and we'll be good to go. Okay, cool. Sick. In radiance, may we find victory. That was very helpful. Also cleared out some inventory space, which is nice. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. Cool, and we have a secret room. Hoorah! Let's go finish this off first, though. Maybe even give more inventory space that way. Sick. Secret room. Nice. I do have a key for that, right? Yeah, I do. Sweet. So there's going to be one slot there, and then we'll probably dump off the anti-venom and then the shovels afterwards. So yeah, we are actually good to go already. Sweet. Just got to finish these guys off. Ooh, and the surprise attack. Welcome to the bear pile. Rene Vralis. Close, hopefully. Rena Varalis? Something like that? Welcome to the pile. Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate it. Enjoy your badge name, Oats! Bear hugs, please! Let them feel the lovin'. Welcome so to the Wibbles. pile. Welcome to the pile, too. Thank you as well. Get him cozy. Later on, Josh. Thank you for the tip. I really appreciate it. Yep. I try and order some rich people for lunch. <laughs> See what they say. Maybe they have some in the back. Dodge. Got it. Those are my uh, voice activated hacks, by the way. Boom. When do you think it's safe to gun for the Miller in a new save? Uh, I would shoot for level fours. The Miller is not the easy. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Especially because he's a new fight. Kind of difficult to us uh, to account for the changes he. Pre or, uh, he's different. Let me, let me simplify the sentence a little bit and say he's a different kind of enemy. And I think I'll get rid of this shit in favor of the secret room stuff that I'm sure to get here. Uh, we don't need the shovels, though, so I guess I can dispose of those now and take the emerald until I know for sure that I'm gonna replace it with something else. Uh, gotta save the key. We can get rid of the bandages now, I guess. I know I'm gonna do this. Let's go ahead and do this now, too, and then we'll just keep all these things. Oop. Alright. There we go. That's not fair. Sono has been going wild, Dapper Dog Man, and I sincerely appreciate him for it. Yeah, that is just... I mean, look at that bit leaderboard. You all have been blowing my fucking mind with the support this week. So thank you so, so much, infinitely, for just making my day public. consecutively over and over again. Who won the charity competition? Care Level Zero did with a score of 900 plus, which he's still going with. We put up a, uh, what I'd call a respectable 146. Not mind-blowing like some of the results like Mr. Sinvicta had. Then a leak to the Musketeer, can I see? Yeah, go ahead and send it to me, please. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll follow up on that. Thank you. Hopefully I have that downloaded for next time. Uh, he's gonna need one more point of blood, huh? Okay. Hounds Harry. I made 200 first try. I'm Rumo and I'm way better than Bear. I hit 500 first try offline. You can't prove it. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? Ah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Eat Rumo! <laughs> Absorb his power! <laughs> All right. All these fights! Sin, I think you're better than me at this game. I'm not being modest, I'm being I'm being honest. Good rhyme. Ooh yeah. Luck is also a major factor in this game, yeah, absolutely. You'll notice in the 900 kill run that he's currently operating with, 
He did have two characters that had a positive virtue check, so a little bit of luck played into it. But he still was, you know, obviously killing it on his run, too. Nice. I'll happily take that. I don't think he virtue cheesed it. No, I'm pretty sure he just got lucky with that. Bear isn't good at the game. He's Bear-tacular. I'll show myself out. Please do. We welcome only good, horrible jokes in this channel, please. Those are the particular variety of comedy we aspire to. Sono! Because Rune told me to stop donating bits. You just hit a new threshold, buddy. Congratulations. Look at that beautiful green badge and another thousand to bring you up to that even 50. Good God. Thank you. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. What else can be said beyond? Holy cow. Thank you very much. And wow. Triumphant pride nice. A dizzying fall. All right, then. Um, I've got a lot of crests here, don't I? Maybe we could get rid of a small stack of crests in favor of those. I mean, obviously the rubies are worth more than the citrine, so we can do this. And... Uh, I don't... Uh, it's not that good. It's worth more than the onyx, I suppose, though, so we'll do that. Alright. Alright, then. Secret room time. I think we go in here now and go to the fight afterward, because we have the means to make the space for it now, which I should take advantage of. Or, I mean, we kind of did, but now we don't really, but I gotta get rid of the emerald, I think. I should dump the snake oil, maybe? I have been using this, but I know it's not gonna end up getting used beyond, like, the first few missions. So I think it's maybe a good time to get rid of that, and then let's go ahead and dump... The Emerald. Yeah. I'm hoping to get something a little more worthwhile in this upcoming fight here as well. We'll see. Let's bring the crits. We've proven it scientifically at this point. So if you want to see some critical hits, you know how to do it. Get them bits. Hounds Harry. I, I should probably stun something considering the fact that I put him in spot two exclusively to use the cudgel weight and then maybe used it one time throughout this dungeon. Really impressive stuff. That's not gonna kill her, is it? Nope. Damn it. Doo doo. I know about those uh, Kickstarter trinkets, Sipek, but yeah, like you said, most of them aren't even really worth unlocking, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Yeah, food was my next choice. This expedition at least promises success. And obviously, we'll just eat that, just like they're rich people. Oh, come on, I want it. All right. Well, that'll do, I guess. What is this curio? I just completely forget to interact with it. Oh, books. Nah, I'm good. We outie. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. Sweet! Bear won't notice me, guys. Were you threatening me? I, I think I saw you say if 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 Sono passes you, you won't sit idly by. I'm terrified of that. I don't know how to properly react to you guys anymore. I feel like I'm just shouting empty thanks into the void at this point for piling bits on me. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, God damn, do I appreciate it. You are you are easing my financial burden significantly. My obsession caused this great foulness, and it is shameful that I must rely upon you to set it right. The tumultuous currents in the ether bluster with extra vigor tonight. The comet particulates vibrant with extra... I don't even understand that sentence. Come yo, Lita! Sadly, I don't have the money to sit up there with those who truly worship the craven gods. Here's a little more bits to throw in the pile. Thank you. Carmiao, you have been... Welcome to the bear pile. I mean, you are up there with those bit lords at third place. Certainly something to shake a stick at. Thank you, thank you for another 1,500 bits. 
The little bits are shaken. Particulates vibrate. The comet particulates vibrate. That's, oh, that's particulates, right? Okay, I get it. Cool. Anyway, looking good here in the roster, I'd say. Go ahead and switch this up a little bit. Welcome to the bear pile. Sin Victor. Welcome to the pile, dude. Welcome back to the pile, right? That's a welcome back to the pile, of course. You'd maintained quite the streak there for a while. Apex Captain. Welcome to the bear pile. Sorry, I missed you a minute ago there. Apex Captain, welcome onto the pile as well as Miss Leoka. Miss Leoka, welcome to the pile too. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. That is the thing from the stars. We actually just encountered that in the previous mission and took him down. But apparently he can just come back whenever he wants, so that sort of sucks. But, let's see. I think that event might be extra shards in the farmstead. Oh, okay. So then, well, I mean, I don't think I'm actually ready to take on the Miller yet, though. Gekka! Three more months. Where are we going to dinner for our five-year anniversary? Goodness. That is insane, man. Thank you. Big time love for Gekker, please, for nearly five fucking years on the bear pile. Complete insanity. How many new bosses are there? There are three. This one, the Miller, and one kind of secret one in the, uh, in the Endless mode. It's a cool boss fight, too. I liked it. Ah, uh, Telekinetic Welcome Yeti! To the bear pile. Another Twitch Prime subscription, Telekinetic Yeti. Welcome on in as well. Thank you for the bear hugs, for the love, for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let us set it up again, please. To figure out where we shall go. Not to the courtyard quite yet. I think it's maybe time to take on some of these lower level bosses here. Sonorous Prophet or perhaps the Siren. I think I could take on the Siren with one of these squads pretty easily. Let's do... Well, actually, let's go to the ruins. No, man, looking at these flagellants, I was, I was thinking, like, we need to build another bleed party, but... No, let's look at maybe an option to get into the cove and kill this siren. Actually, let's go to the stagecoach real quick and see if we have any lower level people to get. Another shield breaker? I'd kind of be okay with that. I might go for an upgrade to the roster size here, too. Let's do that. And... I think... I'll grab this. For now. For now. Shifting. Swaying. She mesmerizes her prey before the final strike. Ball mind! Sub mode on. Go ahead and, uh, we'll go ahead and reset this right now. Reset. Reset. Raffle up! Exclam raffle time in the chat and we will rename the shield breaker after a member of the bear pile. While you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and put our uh, team together for whatever we're gonna Welcome go into here. To the Slaw pile. King! Welcome to the pile. Thank you, friend, for subscribing. I appreciate it. Hmm. May actually look for... That was really loud. Sorry. <laughs> May actually look for an opportunity to grab a new trinket here, depending on what they have available to me. Book of Holiness. Ooh, we get a Berserk Mask for that. That is really good. Maybe it's time to take on the Prophet. I think we could do it. Probably have a squad for that. If we go with Grave Robber, Bounty Hunter, Shield Breaker, Hound Master, and no healer. Perfect. Exactly what we need to do. Let's draw this name. Draw this name. I want to make sure I haven't already put this person in the roster. I'm pretty sure I haven't. Okay. Congratulations, Joe Farrar. You have won the raffle. You are our new shield breaker friend. Welcome on in. There you go. Rigged. Who needs healing? Not me. Sonorous Prophet. What do we do here? Let's go with Gambit Man in the back. I'm thinking probably stay hydrated bot mixed up with the Hound Master and the Bounty Hunter. Something like this. What else could be in spot three? Maybe Matt Skaggs with a little bit of blight added on into this mix? Not too bad. Take Stay Hydrated bot a riot. He is pretty important to our overall success. What are my odds of success with this little lady here? I do like Pick to the Face quite a bit, just in general. Poison- oh! Poison Dart's actually got a buff! You can use that in spot two now, that's awesome. Interesting. Well, in that case... 
Hmm. More damage against blighted targets. Interesting. What if we swap that off for poison darts? Shadow fade lunge thrown poison. With no pick to the face, no armor piercing, which I know I just sung the praises of that move, but I don't know. Might be worth it. Eric, how you doing? Welcome. Um So if I'm gonna do that, obviously I need to go to the guild with her. I've actually got a decent amount of money again, thanks to that secret room, so that's fantastic. Let's go ahead and do this. That, that, and that, just in case I want to actually use it. Houndmaster is going to get some big upgrades for th level 3, thank goodness. And let's consider the mark this time as well. Bounty Hunter. Already leveled up. Good. Vestal, same deal. Uh, let's go to the Blacksmith real fast. What are we looking at here? We need the deeds again, which we just spent on the stagecoach, unfortunately. Mark, Eric, welcome folks. How you doing? She's a germaphobe, so don't give her blight Oh, what the fuck? Ah, that sucks. That ruins this. Okay, well, never mind. We don't need the grave robber then. We'll go with we'll go with stay hydrated, bot. Fuck it. Let's be smart. That's actually perfect for the profit anyway. This is a great build for this for this enemy, so. That's fine by me. I think I'll take off Rampart in favor of something like Bolster and just go with a super heavy defensive man at arms build and allow all the damage to come from our front line. That seems fine. Okay, cool. Let's do that. And I think we're good then. We've already leveled them up sufficiently. Let's go ahead and set up our trinkets and get out of here. Bounty Hunter I know has something. He's got the Talon, that's right, and I think we'll go ahead and give him that. And yeah, I guess this is fine too. More stress healing during camping could help us out in the, uh, in the pre-boss setup here. I guess I should consider clearing Germaphobe, but that would cost a shitload of money considering that's already locked in. I think I gotta hope that I can uh, um, eliminate that with a Curio at some point. Okay, gonna try this again and maybe give him the bleed chance, although that's not really all that helpful going where we are, so maybe not. He's got a decent amount of dodge. I kinda wanna play around with that. Maybe Camouflage Cloak for him. I know, the thing from the stars. I, I'm welcoming pain, but I feel like it... It's not that bad. I can probably handle it. It's just mostly the stress from that thing that you have to deal with. What do I want for Mr. Man-at-Arms here? That's not terrible, actually. Less healing received is probably a manageable thing. He's gonna get one less point per heal, I guess. But, more max health and doesn't eat food. So that seems good. I think I'll rock that, and then let's... I'll go ahead and give him the Camouflage Cloak, because I'm sure he's going to be guarding a lot, and the ability to dodge at this level, at this at this uh, stage, is pretty fantastic. And then maybe the Book of Re Relaxation for my Vestal would be okay. I could give that to my Houndmaster, too. He's got a decent amount of dodge as well, though. So maybe not. Let's give it to her. She's got five. She's not going to be missing anything. And then, I don't want to give her crit. Let's go ahead and just lower that to zero, I suppose, because that doesn't really make a difference at all, and give her the stun resistance. And for the Houndmaster, I guess it's going to be the bleed skill chance, right? Probably, or no, again, yeah, not going to use that. So, let's do disease resist? I don't want to even lose any of these stats, so... Never mind, fuck it. Nothing. Nothing at all! Perfect. self heals good. No need for this cry havoc in this instance. Use all those. Giving him the stun is tempting, but I don't think I'm going to do it this time. Bounty Hunter has got the mark from pull hither. Or come hither, I mean. Uppercut, finish him. Yep, that's all set and good. Cool. Let's do it. Let's fight the Prophet. Let's go. Yeah, you actually do get shard, or, uh, shards from killing the thing from the stars, right? So that is a pretty good reason to want to fight him, too, because those are very helpful. If I could get one of those shard trinkets early on in the game, I'm going to be in good shape. Let's get three of those, a few of these, a couple of verbs, a couple of keys. That looks good. That looks good to me. Okay. Let's do it. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that left unchecked I would soon unleash doom upon the world. The echoes of his mindless tittering 
reverberate maddeningly. It's kind of funny how the prophet was right about the ancestor. <laughs> he wasn't wrong. Yeah, I know, exactly. If left unchecked, I would release madness upon the world. Weird how he did that. He's right about falling stones, too. Yeah, this prophet is one of the most honest characters in Darkest Dungeon. How funny. Is he gonna break the pews for money? If I'm in a good position to do so, absolutely. Come hither! And die. No, or not. God damn it. Stun chance is decent. Yeah, sure. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Most Nice. Nice. No. That's not too bad of a bleed early on, though. She's got a hell of a lot more stress than I thought. Eradicated. Yeah. Yeah, the man-at-arms buffs are pretty damn significant now. He's actually, with the Guardian Shield, uh, later on in the game, he's much more viable as a position for support a character. Momentary abatement. Which is so cool, in my opinion. I really am looking forward to building around that. Giving him stuff like Defender, Command, Bolster, Bellow. Like, that, be that has become a legitimate tactic, I think. Which is so cool. I love that. Inspiration and improvement. Okay, let's pull forward again. Mm-hmm. Prevents him from doing what he likes. And let's do a retribution here, I guess. And finish him off. Destroyed. You intending on unlocking the Red Hook District on this file for grins? Almost certainly, actually. I was mentioning this earlier, but I'm actually really looking forward to building teams for the Endless Mode late game. Like, doing all kinds of random compositions, maybe like, uh, viewer voted compositions for parties for late game. That's gonna be a lot of fun for me. So yeah, I think I'll end up getting enough resources to do that very thing, which is hilarious. Did they make it twice as expensive now? I don't know. Maybe they did. That'd be hilarious. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Yay! Three keys. Plenty. A handsome reward nah. for a task well performed. I'm not gonna worry about the journal pages early on. I gotta make sure I've got enough resources. There's a luxury item to be sure. There you go. I haven't been using a uh, repost a lot. Yeah, that's that was nice. That did a lot of damage there. I'm gonna maybe consider using it more. Come hither! Fuck. Okay, obviously the stress is still one of the biggest issues here, so if I could prevent her from doing any damage that way, uh, you know, it'd be real cool. It'd be super cool. Darkest Dungeon is currently on sale for $7.50. I think. I think it's still on sale. And then the uh, DLC, The Color of Madness, is $5, so it's pretty cheap right now. Group heal coming up. I think we'll bandage that too. And uh, we're not going to bleed any of these guys, so how about we stun somebody? Well struck. Yeah. Blinsa, welcome back. How you doing? Musketeer is free DLC. It was a Kickstarter exclusive for a long time, and they finally just released it to everybody. Be kind to me. Blood vision. 
The end approaches. This is an easy dungeon. Come on. There we go. A little bit of a stress heal even. All right. Let's get this going. Try to get the attention on my boy here. He, I think, can actually still graveyard slash from back there, can't he? Decimated. Ah. Well, I'm glad I have his helmet. Definitely going to need to do some stress healing on the campsite. I'm stunning the shit out of this squad, which is working out well for me. Oh, he does the stumble from back there. That's right. All right, so that's certainly better if I can get him back in that position again, but kind of doubt that's going to end up happening here. Let's go for this. Boost her damage for this one remainder of the turn while she's not guarded. God damn it. Oh, well. Another one falls. Still worked. Hooray. Now we can heal a little more before the uh, end of the fight. A time to perform beyond one's limit. Ideally, anyway. I'm not going to use this bandage here. In fact, let's just self-heal. Pretty much takes care of that issue. Please die. Fuck! Asking for kindness from Darkest Dungeon is just asking for the game to crush you. Sometimes it listens. Sometimes it feels pity. Is the only thing I can describe it to be. Mostly pity. Rarely pride, but every now and then. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Mm, let's go for the damage. Hey, it didn't do six. What a treat. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Yeah, it's easy enough. Definitely early on in the dungeon enough to just take this buff and go, so let's do it. Oh, there's a holy water interaction with that, isn't there? Keep forgetting about that. Oh, is that a big bleed? It's kind of bad, but I'll just deal with it. Give him a nice heal before we get into the next fight. Uh, key? Yeah. Better than using a shovel early. Here, here I think. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. And we need to get rid of the herbs. All right. Still heirlooms are quite valuable. Okay, so there's the torch. Loving these scouts. So let's see, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shit. Well, that blows. I think I gotta at least try to go the easier way. I mean, obviously it's easier to go this way to go either way. So yeah, I don't want to take those extra fights. And now I probably use a shovel considering how few of those we seem to be needing here. measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. We could very well still need one though, so how about we... Let's see... How about dump the bandages and use the holy water, which seems sort of like a bad idea. Man, this is a tough call right now. I think maybe because I have the fasting ring equipped, I might be okay to dump, or to use rather, this food right now. I think that's probably the best bet. Let's do that. I guess we'll just dump off the one. Okay. And then we need to make one more slot for the ruby. I think I'm going to go ahead and go like that and take a big chance. I think I need to just provision less, considering how much of it I'm dumping off. This is good. Up to 169 kills on my second try. Nice. Y'all are putting up some impressive scores. I think I'm just going to try to eliminate as much physical damage as I can here. Disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Since the potential for bleed would kind of massacre me. Might be able to... Oh, you know what? Let's do a defender here, actually. There, I have a turtle now. Wow, that's a big life change. Neat. Congratulations on your turtle. What'd you name it? What's a good turtle name? Myrtle. Alright, cool. Yeah, I figured it out. Has to be a girl, though, I guess. Well, you know what? Fuck it. It can be a guy. Turt Reynolds. That's pretty good. 
Any name but Speedy. That's a big cliche, isn't it? Stress check. Ooh, almost. Let's see if I can kill him with this. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I like Turtles says generic Twitch account one. That's just that's just fitting, isn't it? Yay! Myrtle is a manly name, yeah. Hi, Bear. I went to a long champion mission and had to retreat because my man at arms, Vestal, and Plague Doctor, level six, went afflicted and died of heart attacks because they were having a conversation. <laughs> yeah, that sounds right. Welcome to Darkest Dungeon. All right, well, at least that'll retaliate. Leave him with one hit point. Hooray! Oh my fucking god, he was marked! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Fuck you, Bear, says generic Twitch account number one. All right, yeah, that seems about right. Compassion is a rarity in the fever pitch of battle. Especially with the smiley face. That's what makes it, you know, it makes it friendly and approachable. A friendly, approachable fuck you. Army Ant, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks for the kind words. Nah, nah, nah. I should probably still heal, right? Yeah. Soothed. Sedated. Really pushing my luck with this. Give me that three stress heal. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Not taking any of that. Man, he is super buff. Goodness. Alright, hopefully this will be the way to go. Try to get lucky here. I think I might have to like just go into the fight without camping. Although that'll guarantee a stress check for the uh, b bounty hunter, so that's probably not the best play. It's just that I love that buff so much. Ooh, we get the scout though. Okay, that's awesome. That is very helpful. Thank you, game. The light, the promise of safety. There. What do you think of a Weber Cooks and Hafu cooperation? I wouldn't want to put Hafu in that position. Because I didn't want to be in that position. I had to be in that position. That was a class requirement. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to throw those out anyway. Yep. Well then. Shit. I guess we're getting a resolve check. Yeah, there it is. I'm eating my brain! Oof. Okay. Where can I get the damage here? Maybe just stun him? He's got a very low stun resistance. All in on the virtue! Yeah, maybe. I can probably prevent it. Let's add our dodge or our stress received. All my Spelunky bucks on Virtue. No crit. And get a crit here. Man. Don't let him go. God damn it. All right. Place your bets. Roll the dice. Let's do it, cat. Masochistic. Those who covet injury find it in no short supply. Balls. All right. Nice prediction, Neurotic. Well done. I have failed you. I apologize. I'll do better in my random chance rolls next time. Had an abusive bounty hunter and a virtuous hellion. The hellion gave everyone a pep talk, and the bounty hunter responded on his turn by uppercutting her. She was on death's door. She died. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's great. That, those are the kind of stories that this game produces that I love so much. Along with my party was walking through a hallway, had a hunger check, and died of starvation. 
Good times. Good fucking times, man. Indeed we are, Deasley-o. Welcome back in. Everybody's getting the uh, Darkest Dungeon fever now with this new DLC. I'm loving it. Ba -da ba 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 Are you supposed to dodge? Nah, I was broken! That was backwards! God damn it. Wow, he is immortal. Thank you. Reminds me of the video posted of the worst run ever. Oh my god, that thing blew up, by the way, on YouTube. But I think, like, 250,000 people now have wit witnessed my failure. That thing... is the testament to my shame. Yay, we got one! Boo-hoo, shame on you. Nice. Just finish him. Of course. Of fucking course. There you go. Team with a Vestal and a Houndmaster. The Houndmaster ended up having a mental breakdown. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. He became abusive, turned around and slammed his cudgel onto my Vestal and killed her after she got crit. He then immediately died afterward after abusing my Antiquarian and Hellion. I mean, that's pretty much run-of-the-mill at this point, right? Mental breakdowns that result in the murder of your friends and teammates. That's just Darkest Dungeon 101. Well, I mean, I was trying to prevent that, obviously, but... I think maybe within the... He's, he's refusing to use our final torch here, by the way. Maybe within the camp... I will find the means within or by which to uh, alleviate his issues, but I'm just kind of going to roll with this, I guess. Let's see if I can set up a couple of crits for him. Marking targets obviously would be wise, but since he's going to be acting first, I guess I just got to take a chance on it. Cleansed from our land. Let's stun him. Hey, that helps. Yippee. And uh, let's do that. Darkest Dungeon Discord chat. I've been thinking about making some more channels, actually, in the, uh... Back to the pit. In the Bear Pile Discord, so I think I'll do that. That seems like a pretty logical one to choose. Remember to kill the pews. Yeah, if, if opportunity affords us... Or the opportunity is afforded to us, I certainly will. This expedition at least promises success. Alright, going all the way to the end of the hallway. Backtrack all the way back. We shall camp out. Set this up. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do it. We'll have two more food at the end of this as well. Circle in the dark. The battle Welcome may yet be won. Yoda Turtle! Yoda Turtle, welcome to the pile. Thank you for subscribing. Enjoy your bad emotes. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of ways to reduce stress, unfortunately. Nobody's religious in this party, either. So it's not really all that great. I think the buffs from the Man-at-Arms are probably going to be my best choice. He's not a size 2. We don't need to do tracking anymore. Let's go with, uh... Let's go with primarily Man-at-Arms buffs, I suppose. Maintain equipment might be a good choice, too. Oh, he refused the fucking buff. Come on, now. Let's prevent the ambush as well, I guess. And... Yeah, let's do that. That's gonna help a lot, actually, in the profit fight, because he's gonna have to be the taking some... Struck. Some lickings. A blazing star is born. Okay. Off we go. Just gotta deal with a masochistic bounty hunter. That's not too bad. I think I can manage. The madman hides there, behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. Do 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 do. Alrighty. So since we can't actually hit him yet, I think maybe I'll mark these pews and try to kill him quicker. 
allow the bounty hunter extra damage up front. And I wonder whether we should defend him or the Houndmaster. Kind of an interesting con consideration here. Victorian man! Welcome to the pile, buddy. Oh, baby! There you go, Vestal. Well done. I think I'll defend the bounty hunter because the Houndmaster can heal himself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I have anti venom? Nope. Oh well. Consume water! I hope you all know I chug water desperately in, in all of those circumstances. I daren't allow an opportunity to hydrate past me by. Can I move him? Nope. Alright. Fuck it, let's kill Pews. Rebel of Ruin Rock Nutrication! Blah, 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 blah. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Uh, that seems like a good idea. Although we could also do this. And then he gets that nice damage buff. And let's go ahead and mark the pew again. There we go. If he starts stacking those, that might be an issue. Okay. Yikes. Oof. Oh, fuck. Man at arms getting close. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. Oh, right. Yeah, that thing. Forgot about that. Sweet. Oh, that's scary. Let's go ahead and pop that for him. No? You're gonna do it, you bitch. A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. Another one down. I've never actually taken down all three pews. Okay, so I guess I need to... Well, no, defending him isn't gonna make a difference here, so let's go ahead and bolster. And then obviously do the individual heal if I get the chance. God damn it. It's, he's the only one being, being continuously hit by everything. And of fucking course he doesn't want to be healed. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Owie. Hey, he finally chose one target. A hand breadth from becoming unwound. Yeah, I'd love to help you, bud, if you'd let me, for fuck's sake. Can't stun him either, right? Yeah, he's got 100% resistance. It's unlikely. Please. Fucking hell, thank you. If only to bleed again. Oh, I know it, buddy. I know it. He is masochistic, I guess. Yeah, it certainly makes sense, doesn't it? Please don't stack the blight on him again. Hey, look at that. He didn't dodge it, though. He missed. Important difference. Important distinction. I think that might be a new waner. Yeah, that sounds different. That was handy. Hell yeah. All right, we'll guard the Houndmaster this time and let the Vestal take the hit. Oh, he took the channeling there. That's interesting. Cool. Finally, that Blight's gone. Closing in here. Let's do this on him still, because he's going to let me. Thank you. And do that. Which, again, I don't think actually is going to make a difference. All right. Oh, the stun. That stinks. Nice! Hell yeah. And yet again on these two. Oh, I think he's going to take it away. Yeah, nice! Oh, I love that. That is awesome. Okay, six damage. Where are we getting it? Let's go ahead and group heal again. Hell yes. Um, let's do retribution. Is that a smart idea? What would be better? Maybe command stacking that up? Doesn't want to take it. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Nice! Oh my god, we're getting lucky with the dodge. Not always, but frequently at least. All right, and I'm going to have to deal with that damage going to the Bounty Hunter, unfortunately, so he's probably going to end up being on Death's Door after this. 
He marked himself, too. Jesus Christ. Well, there we go. Every pew down. That feels awesome. Doesn't have any protection, so sadly that's not as good of a target whistle. I think I'll just go ahead and do this. Maybe let the bounty hunter do the mark. Or maybe not do the mark at all, actually. Shit. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, uh, yeah, again, can't defend her, so how about this? Start actually dealing some damage to him. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Dodge it. No stun, right? Oh my god, the stun's from that shit. Oh boy, yeah, there's the death door that I expected. Okay. Facing the abyss. Oh boy, oh boy. Fuck that! Oh no, I thought that was the eye of ruin again. Okay. We can defend her him. You know, I actually have a decent chance to stun him right now. 55%. I should probably mark him, though, although I'm losing the, be the benefit on the bounty hunter there. Let's just deal the damage. Oh, yeah, that's worth it. That's worth it. Get the bleed going, too. Okay, help. Maybe we should just let him die. It's kind of what it looks like he wants. What you doing? What you doing? He just hates this fucking bounty hunter. Stop stunning him. Thank you. Good lord. Are you fucking serious? Fine. Die. That's what you want? Fucking die. Fine by me. Goodbye. As life ebbs, terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. All right, that's better. He's not marked. The uppercut's very unlikely. Let's just do this. And maybe now it's time to do this, finally. And hopefully the next couple of turns will prove productive. Oh my god, he's still letting me heal. It's a fucking miracle. God damn it, it's a motherfucking miracle. Small bribe and maneuver out the area. That's not how it goes. That's a, that's a Run the Jewels song. Fuck yes. All right, he's marked, he's debuffed. Time to get this shit done. We've got the correct... The correct setup here for defense as well. The crits, let's go! Finish him. So close. I think I'll go for a judgment. Oh no, he's going out swinging! Single strike. Resolve tested! Focus! That's right, stay hydrated, bot! That is right! Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. The hero of the day! Foolish horrors brought low and driven into the mud. Booyah! Hell yeah. That'll do that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Nice. What is this one? Bloody fetish. Yeah, that's not bad, actually. Decent. And the healing arm light. Cool. All right. It is done. Ooh, baby. Bit wealthier as a result of that one. Another level three or two. Wasting sickness. Ah, oh, damn. Thankophobia. Oh, that's a great one. I should log that in. Wow, that's incredible. Luminous OP. Curiosity, interest, and obsession. Mile markers on my road to damnation. Sick. Sadly, Exide, yeah, you are, because I'm going to wrap up. <laughs> I'm actually, like, very, very tired. I didn't realize it, but this morning I, uh, I was messaging in the Discord my, you know, something, something, overconfidence, something, something. I've been streaming a hell of a lot over the last few days, and I was hoping to go a little, uh, a little longer today, but I am feeling it, man. Like, I am struggling to keep my, my energy up, so... 
I think I am going to go ahead and wrap up here now. Just set up our stress heals and whatnot. Get this disease removed, the wasting sickness. Bear must sleep. Bear must hibernate. I thought the Madrinas would carry me through, but I'm all the way through a dark roast here, and it's still... <laughs> I'm still feeling it, man. Calm yell, Lita. To be honest, this is just because I want the next badge, LOL. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. Thank you. Thank you for the 3,500 bits. Clearly, their strategies are working. Thank you so much for all the love, everybody. And, of course, thank you very much for watching here on Twitch or over on YouTube.com slash BearTaffy, where you can catch all the VOD of this playthrough, all of our runs from the Color of Charity events, and all of our continued VOD for this playthrough will be updated over there as well. So you can watch it wherever you want. Thank you so much for being here. The, the turnouts and the support for these Darkest Dungeon streams yet again have been fantastic. I am loving this. Like, I, I hope people don't just think I'm milking Darkest Dungeon for the content. I love this game. This game is so much fun for me. And I am so thrilled with this Color of Madness DLC. Like, the Endless Mode is genuinely so exciting for me. I am really, really thrilled that people are enjoying it as much as I am. So, it's awesome. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all so much for the support. Lenny Dots! Because I'm jealous of your impending nap. <laughs> so you give me bits for it. Thank you, friend. Thank you very much. To the bear pile. The gin. Welcome to the pile as well. Thank you all. Thank you all for the support. Let me see if there's anybody streaming uh, that I can send the love off to as well. Uh, you know what? I wonder. Can anybody tell Welcome me if Care Level Zero pile. is still going with his long ass, like, thousand kill endless run right now? Because if he is, I'd like to send it over there. But if he's not, I'll go ahead and raid the NLSS. Uh, yeah. I'm I'm gonna finish for now. I I'll uh I'll be back with more Darkest Dungeon soon though. Soon enough. I'm not gonna be able to stave the itch. Uh, I think I'll just go ahead and send it off to Ra uh, Last Grey Wolf then in the NLSS. Let's send it off to Nick actually. Nick's back for the NLSS today too. Let's do that. Raid Rockley smile. Go ahead and watch the NLSS today, folks. Thanks so much for tuning in again. I sincerely appreciate all the support. Big time love for the Bear Pile today. Uh, Discord.gg slash Bear Pile. Of course, thank you to Madrina's Coffee as well for sponsoring every single stream here. Use Exclam Coffee. Save code or save with code Bear Coffee over on Madrina's.coffee.com slash Bear Taffy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>